Oh my god, I'm so pissed off with myself. Oh! Then quit smiling and leave behind. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. So today's video we are going to be doing a bullish face of trying out some new products. I haven't done a video like this in the longest time ever. I'm so used to doing like four faces on one brand. But today I really fancy trying out a whole different types of brands for you guys. So I got Givenchy, I got Huda Beauty, I got Charlotte Tilbury. I have so many products to go through so I'm just going to jump straight into the tutorial. So the first product I really want to try out is Givenchy. Givenchy has launched a new skincare hair range where it basically focuses on de-stressing your skin. Never tried this before so let's give it a go. Also packaging is 100% recyclable which is great. So this is a soothing moisturizing lotion. I have a mini brief over here for you guys. So this lotion is enriched with soothing and calming licorice extracts and it is lightweight and refreshing. So yeah I really need that because your girl's super hot right now. Come on hurry up! Oh this is really lightweight. It smells really lovely. Also guys this product is 98% natural so the ingredients are super super gentle to the skin. When I think of brands like Givenchy and Dior and all those big bougie brands I don't know why but I feel like their products are full of alcohol. But obviously it's not. It is lightweight and it definitely got a lot of dirt off my skin as well. I don't know if you guys can see it, but can you see all that dirt on my skin? Ew. The next part I'm going to try is the Sunday Variety Ice Ceramide Moisturising Cream. I tried this already. It is so freaking delicious. It is insane. Like it honestly tastes like icing and I want to eat it. Like it's so delicious. Oh God. It's like cake. Like I feel like I'm in a cake job every time I smell this. So this product helps moisturize and soothe dry skin. It's also made for people with sensitive skin as well, which is really handy. It's got vitamin F in there. It's got coconut and pomegranate in there as well, which is such an interesting mixture. I never really see products with coconut and pomegranate mixed together. So yeah, let's go ahead and try this out. Mmm. Oh my god, it just feels amazing on the skin. Oh my god, I definitely feel like not everybody's not gonna like the smell though, that's the thing. Like, I am such a sweet tooth girl. Like, I eat chocolates all the time and this just like gives me so many like good vibes and good memories of like food. But this, I feel like not many people are gonna like the smell of icing because it is really, really super strong. But in terms of the actual product, because this is like my third time trying it, I do really like it, but it's definitely not the type of cream that I would use every day because one, it's Sunday Friday, so it's super expensive. So this is something that I would wear probably whilst I'm on a holiday because my skin, I don't know why, but my skin gets super dehydrated whilst I'm away. And also I have been loving moisturizers with SPF mixed into it. As for this moisturizer, it doesn't have any SPF in there. So this is definitely the type of cream where I just wouldn't use it on the daily. I feel like this is more of a treat me cream, if you know what I mean. Like I have a bunch of products where I don't use every day because they're super expensive and I will only use them on special occasions. And this is definitely one of them. I also feel like this cream gives my skin like a really nice dewy glow like I love it when creams leave this really nice sweaty residue on my skin okay next it's time to do the lips now my lips are so dry it's time to hydrate them and I got the new Huda Beauty diamond balm when I first saw these I wasn't so sure about it because of the colors I'm just a bit like who wears those colors but I do love Huda Beauty and I do support her and yeah I want to go ahead and try these out for you guys wow this one is so beautiful I turned off my lighting that way you guys can see how gorgeous this lipstick is like Look at that glow. Look at those glitters. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Ah! Oh my god, I'm so pissed off with myself. Oh, that's so annoying. I'm just gonna hold two at a time. That way you guys can see the colors. Look at that. It's so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and put this shade on. It's called Lace Panty. Huda. Oh my god, I cannot believe you called it Lace Panty, especially when you're from Dubai. Mmm, okay. Mmm. Definitely not the type of lip balm that I would grab and go for. Very light. I like my lip balms to be really thick, really ointmenty, really like, you know, like Lano lips and like Dr. Lip. I love those type of textures for my lips because my lips are so dry and chapped. This would be really good for summer because of how lightweight it is. But in terms of the color, not really a fan to be honest. I'm gonna go ahead and jump straight into the eyebrows. I'm gonna use the new Benefit Gimme Brows, but the jumbo size one. So in case you guys love Benefit Brows, I really hope you do because I am so in love with Benefit Brow products. Like it's literally all I ever use. It's long wearing, it's long lasting and the product itself is 
well literally last you for a really long time and I put brows on nearly every single day and yeah it's just my favorite go-to brow products and it's not too expensive either so yeah they have a jumbo size so they've got a big mama one middle mama and a baby mama as well so if you are looking for a jumbo size because this is literally so handy because I love using the gimme brow because it gives a lot of nice texture to my brow hairs they do shade two three and five which I think is the most popular shades my benefit brow shade is number six and the reason why I like to use gimme brow shade five is because when I use six my eyebrows end up looking like caterpillars it's not cute no sis so I like to go a shade lighter and actually warm up my brows and kind of give it a bit of texture and dimension as well I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury powder just over my brows just to get rid of the greasiness and then I'm gonna use the benefit brow wow this is such a good primer I can't believe I don't use it that often so what this product does is that it primes the brows and you brush it through your brow hairs and because the product is quite wet I like to go in with a dry spoolie and just brush it through again this will just help make the product dry faster and also it just like makes my brow hair stay up ever since I started using this product and when I do go ahead and actually fill in my eyebrows I feel like the product just glides on better on my brow hairs and on my skin as well and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the precisely my brow in shade 6 oh my god look how big it is wow so this is the medium sized one and this is the big one look at that this is definitely much more girthier as well just saying I'm just gonna go ahead and just apply this into my brow hairs but I'm gonna go backwards like this and that's just gonna give some nice texture to my brow hairs so I concealed my eyebrows and my eyelids off camera and I'm gonna jump straight into the eye makeup shout out to Layla Loves for collaborating with Lottie London these little mini eyeshadow palettes are so cute so she made two mini eyeshadow palettes this is Ibiza and this is Miami I am very drawn to Ibiza because I love yellow pinks and purples and oranges it's just such a cute color combination this one's giving me watermelon vibes I'll try this out another day I have not worn drugstore eyeshadow in such a long time I really need to start playing around with more drugstore makeup so let me know down in the comment section what your favorite drugstore products are because I will literally buy whatever you guys recommend oh my god how could I forget before I put the eyeshadow on I'm actually gonna put a little bit more primer on I'm gonna use the new elf putty eye primers I tried this out the other day oh my god it is so 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 good and the reason why I like it is because it's got that tacky feeling and I like it when an eyeshadow primer has that tacky feeling because when the eyeshadow does go on the eyeshadow primer it grips onto it and it literally stays on there all day so you could be sweaty you could be oily and it will still be there so yeah really loving these elf putty primers they have three shades they got beige white and black which I feel like is a really good selection of colors for eyeshadow primers I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the beige one so what I like to do is I like to apply the eyeshadow a primer on with a brush and then go in with my ring finger to blend it out that way it gets rid of the lines from the brush I'm gonna dip into Tropicana wow look at that pigment okay sis this is coming out so nice oh my god love the next shade I'm gonna go ahead and dip into is Island Fever which is this really pretty yellow color over here it's more of a dark yellow oh my god this is giving me like such mango vibes <laughs> I love it I'm now gonna to dip into Bora Bora which is this gorgeous orange shade I have no idea where to put it so I'm just gonna put it somewhere on my lid oh hello this came out so much more brighter than I thought and also guys my brush is not wet so I really want to see how well this eyeshadow performs and it is doing really really well wow I think I'm gonna do eyeliner I'm gonna use another drugstore product this is the makeup revolution eyeliner eyeliner is on it's kind of even but not quite even but we're gonna go ahead and cover up the unevenness with some false lashes so Ilo has collaborated with these four bloggers from the UK and they created such beautiful lashes look at that oh my god we got felicity we got plastic boy who is my best friend by the way we also got bryony blake who is a makeup artist in the uk and when i mean makeup artist i mean like she's like a celebrity makeup artist and then we also have sabina hanan as well so i'm actually gonna go ahead and try out royal heiress Ooh, these lashes are so cute oh my god the way they just elongate my eyes like hello <laughs> i'm now gonna go ahead and put some gems on that i got from amazon 
so cute. So I got this primer from Smashbox. It's called the Vitamin Glow. It's got vitamins B, C, and E in it as well, which is so good. So if you don't eat fruit and veggies, get yourself some products with vitamins in it. I don't know if it will be the same, but you know. Oh my God, it is so cold. It's nice. Mm, it smells so good. It smells like oranges and like grapes and like mangoes. This primer is feeling super hydrating. Quite slippery actually, like I definitely should have used much less. Okay, the star of the show, this. This foundation right here. I tried it on the other day and I just had to use it again and talk to you guys about it. Use this foundation and when I first put it on, I was like, what the hell? Why am I so late into the game? This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation and I am in the shade number eight, Warm Chord. That's how you say it. Told. I'm gonna use one pump on the one side of my face and just show you guys the magic this foundation does. I'm gonna use a sponge to blend this out. This is a Huda Beauty sponge. I just feel like these days there are so many good luxury foundations. Like it's so hard to just pick one good foundation. Like last year it was a NARS long wear radiant foundation, but this year I have like five new foundations from a luxury store that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And I'm not gonna lie, they all do the same thing in terms of how they feel, how they look on my skin and how long wearing they are and how it doesn't budge throughout the day especially because I'm such an oily bitch as well like it does not go anywhere the foundation but I definitely want to do a video dedicated to just my favorite foundation so yeah look out for that look at that it's just so real like this foundation looks insanely real even though it's not real and again it's super lightweight and also I saw on TikTok someone squirted this foundation on a piece of paper to see how oily it is Honestly, there was not that much oil around the paper. And also I'm still on one pump. Usually I would use about maybe two pumps by now, but this one just one pump. And look at that. It is covering my whole entire face. I got a big face as well. I don't have a new concealer, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the drugstore concealer, which is the Maybelline Age Rewind. To contour and blush, I'm gonna use the new Nude Sticks products. Oh my God, these, these, these. Okay, I've had Nude Sticks products for a really long time, but it was one of those products where I didn't use them because they were cream. And before, and when I mean before, I mean like last year, I was such a powder girl, like powder, powder, powder. I'm like powder bronzer, powder this, powder that, powder that, powder everything. But I don't know why, but I have converted into a cream girl. Like I am obsessed with cream makeup and I just can't get enough of it. This is a new bronzing stick, but I'm actually gonna use this to contour. And this is in the shade Terracotta Tan. It's so pretty. And what's so cool about nude sticks is that it comes with a little bronzer as well. I never really actually use a brush because I don't really want to, but there is a brush just in case if you need one. And the blusher that I'm going to use from New Sticks is called Siren. What's it called again? <laughs> Salty Siren. It's called Salty Siren. It's such a pretty coral type of color. So gorgeous. When I put this on the other day, I was like, oh my God, I need to like talk to you guys about this. So if you've got like a similar skin tone to me, or if you're a little bit lighter or a little bit darker, I definitely highly recommend in checking out your shades. Literally blends so easily. I'm now going to go ahead and put the blusher on. I'm going to actually pick it up with a brush and just do a little cheeky smile and just pull it on. Oh yeah. I want to talk to you guys about Estee Lauder. So Estee Lauder does makeup, which obviously I knew. When I think of Estee Lauder, I think of skincare. Like I don't really look at their makeup, but the only makeup that I would actually ever try from them is a foundation, like the double wear. Like that's like the OG iconic bridal foundation that you would wear. But Estee Lauder other makeup products, I don't really know much about it. So I thought it'd be fun to try it out in this video. Look at these. They look so cute. I actually tried this out. I swatched it on my hand the other day and it just felt so nice and cooling. And I just Thought, wow this is like perfect for summer so this is their new glow stick i've got two shades i've got bronze beam and i also got gold beam i'm gonna use a little under eye type of detail brush i'm just gonna pick it up oh that is so nice and cooling okay where's the glow esther where's the glow because they're swatches it does show Okay, maybe I actually need to use my finger. Okay, this shade is not for me. I think I need to go a little bit lighter because you can't really see it on my skin. <laughs> but, um... I'm just gonna go ahead and use another highlighter. I mean, you can see it, it's just a bit too subtle and I feel like this is a highlighter that's not really made for this type of makeup look that I'm going for. Like, this makeup look is very like dramatic-ish. I just wanna, you know, have a highlighter that matches with the eye makeup. Instead, I'm gonna use Stila. This is in the shade Kitten. I am not gonna give up on the Estee Lauder highlighters. I'm gonna try this on a day where I literally have like no base makeup on. I feel like this will look really, really well on like bare skin. I don't know why, I have a feeling it's gonna work, so yeah. 
do keep a lookout on my socials because I am going to try these out again. I'm not going to give up because I love Estee Lauder. They're like my favorite skincare brand of all time. So yeah. Okay, I'm finally going to powder now. I'm going to use the new Ciate Everyday Vacay. This is a coconut setting powder. How delicious does that sound? I'm slightly scared to try a drugstore powder because in my own experience, I feel like a lot of drugstore powders just feels like baby powder and I'm just not a big fan of that. So let's just hope that this one is workable and worth the money. Because even though it's drugstore and it's quite affordable, it's still annoying when you spend money on a drugstore product and it still doesn't work for you. It's like, come on, please let this powder be good. I'm going to pick up with a brush and just try a little bit oh that's actually really nice oh my god it smells freaking amazing there is literally a fruit bowl on my face guys i am not joking i've got a mango eye makeup going on i had a primer that smells like oranges and all sorts and i've got coconut setting powder oh my god this powder is nice hello ciate i didn't have it in me to light this powder but i actually do wow look at that Oh my god. Okay, this powder is really, really nice. It's a little bit too dry underneath my eyes, so I personally wouldn't want to bake with this powder because it's that dry, but it is lightweight, and I definitely think it's the type of powder that I would just want to like buff out all over my face. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick selfie and just see if there's any flashback. Okay, no flashback at all. Don't mind my crazy, scary looking face there. <laughs> but yeah, no flashback. Okay, cute. Out of all the products that I've tried in tutorial, this is like the number one product where I'm like, oh my god, I'm actually surprised that I like this because I am a very picky person when it comes to powders like powders have to be on point for me because I have very textured skin so that's why I'm so picky with my powders we also have a matching setting spray as well so this is the everyday vacay setting spray from Ciate <gasps> Okay, the setting spray definitely got rid of a little bit of the over powderiness underneath my eyes, which is amazing. I'm gonna dip back into Tropicana and just buff out my lower lash line. And then dipping back into Island Fever, which is the yellow one, just to add a little bit of pop of color in the inner corner of my eyes. And finally, I'm gonna go ahead and use Morphe Coffee and Kissy Lip Liner to help overline my lips. Make them look juicy and big. And then I'm gonna use the Horse Laboratories Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Lee Riot. This lip gloss literally feels like it's gonna be on my lips all day. This is actually my first time trying it in this video. It is definitely non-sticky and it just feels durable. Like it feels like I could go swimming and as soon as I get out of the water, this lip gloss is still on my lips. So we are now at the end of the video guys. I really hope that you found this tutorial really, really helpful. Hopefully you like some of the products that I use in this video. If you do try out any of the products, please let me know down below in the comment section. And yeah, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button because you'll be helping a sister out. Make sure to stay tuned to every Sunday because I have a mini series going on my YouTube channel. The series that I'm doing on my channel is a full face of black owned makeup brands. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned and look out for those videos because the next episode of my black owned makeup brand series is that I do a full face of Pat McGrath. I did an order today, which should come tomorrow. So yeah, really excited to play around with her products. And guys, it was so freaking expensive. So yeah, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button and show your girl some love and support as well because it will mean so much to me. I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.